Hey guys, Ross here, and today I'm giving you the first episode of my new series I'd like to call Redstoner. Now, this is a series I've been practicing a lot with Redstone, and to show this off, I wanted to show my very simple calculator. Uh, I tried to make the Redstone as compact as possible. Um, at the moment, this only does addition. Uh, but let's see, and I set it up just to make it more compact and not, you know, spread out and stuff, and the sign, so, yeah, this probably could have been better, I tried to go for, like, a phone, although a phone would be, you know, the other, the other way around, but, so if I go, like, two and three, and I press the answer, five, now, if I do, um, hmm, Go four and one makes five. Now, if I flick, yeah, um, I well, to be completely honest, right now, um, it really, it really just, uh, I'll give you a quick view of the redstone. No matter what, uh, whenever you press this button, it just, it just displays five. Like I can go. It, it just displays five unless I think it's if I do this there we go and then it, it it just gets stuck on five sometimes but uh uh that's pretty much it um I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this helps I'll give one quick glance at the redstone thank you very much for watching Hey guys, Ross here, and uh, today I'm bringing a, another one of my Redstoner creations. I call it the Thingamamover. You know what? We're gonna. I forgot to do this um, before recording, so I'm doing it now. Thing, uh, thing, uh, ma mover. Thingamamover. All right. Now the way this one works is. Say I want to get an item like this sign from here over to there. This chest. Now you're probably thinking, Ross, you can't teleport items. Well, with the power of redstone, you can. See, what you do is you just flick this lever a lot. And uh, just, just got to keep on diddling this lever. And when the, uh, the lamp lights up. Due to redstone magic, my item has arrived. This is the exact same sign. Uh, no tricks. No tricks at all. Uh, I'll do it with a uh, polished stone. You know what? A stack of 64 polished stone. You know? can't You can't fake that. So then uh, you flick the lever a bunch. You diddle it, if you will. And it's... Uh, what I really like about this is it's a compact design, and it uses, uh, honestly, uses no hoppers. You know what I mean? Because I know you could just go hop. You could just, you could just do like, you know, like boop, boop, boop. And, you know, that's, that's no fun. If I put this in here, it just goes zoop. Yeah, that's stupid. Who would do that? This, this uses no hoppers. Now, you're probably wondering... How the thingamamover works. Now, you put an item in this dropper, which gets a redstone signal, and then everything gets a redstone signal, and it just keeps pushing it. Like, wee, wee. It comes all the way around. Now, you can move things in a lot of different ways. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have went like, boop, boop. I could have, oh, crap. I could have went like this. But then, uh, the only difference is it would have had to go, like, see, and now, and now you can make sick, cool turns. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, it's pretty compact. You can easily store and hide all this redstone anywhere you want. Um, I honestly don't think you could get this much smaller. Uh, especially, this is, a no iron needed design. And I want to say thank you guys for watching.
Hey guys, Ross here, and I'm coming back with another Red Stoner, bringing it back. As you can see, I've been working pretty hard on this world. Obviously, behind me is the invention I'm going to be showing off. I never named that one. You can see the calculator over there. Thingamamover, I think I named that. Um, the other stuff might be shown someday, but what I'm showing you is probably the most important. Now, I'm trying to sidestep here. Now, let's say I've been stalking this person, and I want to get into their valuables. And that was the wrong thing. Now, we got the bra, we got Billy Sanchez's rose, some food, a treasure map, her number. Ooh, a mixtape. I'm actually going to take that right now. Uh, a diary, a pimp cane, some panties, her heart, some diamonds, all that good stuff. Now, I've been following her. She doesn't want to see me get into her house. So what do you do? You set up the greatest defense system there is. No one can get into these houses. I've set this up on like three different servers and no one's been able to get in. As you try and walk over. I'm going to try one more time. Alright, well this is actually kind of irritating me. I was hoping. Right, get a running start. What did I do? No matter what you do, you cannot freaking get... Alright, I'm like hitting my keyboard at this point. But, this contraption's pretty simple. Um, this can be replaced. I used uh, glass here. Dirt also works. It's pretty good. This can be replaced with anything. It only takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm gonna tie. 20 redstone. Which, uh, you can get that from, you know, about a day. But, uh, pretty much, uh, I'm not getting any of her stuff today. Not yet, anyway. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Ross here, and I'm coming at you with another red stoner. Let me grab... Yeah! Yeah! Redstone hype! Red... But anyway guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you a super simple, easy watermelon farm. Now I know what you're thinking, man, I've been having so much difficulty getting my watermelons. Now if I go game, game mode zero, I mean you gotta sit here and you gotta be like... Ch -ch Wait, why didn't... Alright, well that that's my fault, um, but anyway... Normally melons respawn, you collect those, you eat them, you survive. But it's normally so tedious to have to sit there and go like 20 minutes cutting down one watermelon unless you got like sword of justice, you know, and then you just go like <laughs> shovel of justice and then you just go whap, whap, whap. But anyway, so you're sitting there, Ross, how can redstone manipulate this? Well, here's your answer. I call this the watermelon destroy emanator. Now, what you do is you climb up here. Now, what you do is you climb up here. Now, what you do, what you do, slowly, slowly. Come on, come on, don't fall. Anyway, you climb up here, and you press this button, and watermelons. I'm gonna do it. Nor normally, sometimes you gotta do two pushes just to uh, get all of your crops down. But this is a—it's uh, a pretty simple device. Um, before I did have it. If if you uh, if you want to get a little savvy, you can do this. No, you can't. I lied to you. Uh, it, it'll uh, it pushes. Oddly enough, the the uh, the crop remover towards it and then you get all your stuff now the cleanups a little harder because um what i found out is you can't just press the button again it, it doesn't clean anything up but uh the best part is it keeps the grass fertile because then i can just plant i'm gonna bone grab me some of that bone meal boop 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 Watermelon. Let me grab. I keep saying watermelon, and this it's, it's just melon. I know. Don't hate me. See, and then you just go boop. See? Easily grows again. 
And then anytime you want to harvest your crops, you just press the button. And... Well, normally you lay it on a better foundation, but anyway, in no time at all, you will have enough water... You'll have enough melons for your melon home. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll have another interesting go gadget i'm uh, gonna start looking into command blocks next i mean i was messing with them over there but those literally do nothing i mean i just put them down but uh i hope you guys like this video if this helps you play minecraft which obviously it will um again i'm gonna do a quick overview of the redstone you just need this that i probably could have made this simpler but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and red yeah. Oh, 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 hey, I didn't see you there. I was just placing redstone for the next episode of uh, Redstoner. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ross, you've covered everything, but I haven't. I have yet to dabble in command blocks. Now, command blocks are a pretty interesting thing. What they allow you to do is input game code or whatever magic. You, you can cheat and stuff. I can be like, yo, um, give Ross diamond. And now, if I... These things are really neat and that you can use them to cheat. Now, I've already set up this. I call this the um, red wheel. I don't know. Pretty much this. So now I can hook up command blocks to these to do different commands. Now, these are really cool commands. And I tested this out earlier. And this is um, probably a step up from my last security system. But this one takes it a step further. Now, what I'm going to do is... For this first one, and this is to make sure no one can get near you. I'm gonna wanna do at kill p p. Shoot. Okay. So what? Once I can, I just gotta get back over to the command block to put in the rest of the commands to keep this from happening. Now, the other three command blocks are used to keep this from happening. Um, the other, the other, the other three command blocks are meant to protect you from doing this to yourself and only allow invaders to be killed. Um, I gotta gotta try and run to the all right well anyway guys that is um red stoner um i'm gonna try and figure this out and i will catch you guys in the next one Hey guys, Ross here, and I'm making another redstoner, woo! Remember guys, if this tutorial has helped you, remember to leave a like down below and a comment saying, Yo, I built this in my world, and it's amazing. Today, I'm building what I'd like to call the Redstone Trombono. Now, what this is, is I've been dabbling with music blocks for a bit, and uh, I probably should have had this set up beforehand. But what I'm actually, real quick, I don't know why I just did that, let me grab the different types of materials you can actually use just to give uh, an idea of the different noises you can produce with these in case for some reason you've never heard them before. You go dirt like that. You know what? I'm just going to keep it like that for now. And actually there's one for if there's nothing below. Now what I'm going to do is like this, except this one I'll do a bit differently. And now if I grab a redstone torch, these are the different noises they make. Whoops. Boom. And what you can then do is kind of tune them. I don't know why I didn't do that, but see, now it plays a different note. That's that. I like this one. Oh. Wait, it's dirt? Alright, apparently dirt and nothing is exactly the same, even though uh, dirt... I, I'm personally curious now 
as to what a block of gold would do. Okay, well, that was kind of dumb. Uh, another thing to know is actually if redstone was to sit on top of this, let me uh, break some of this, and then I was to power this, no, no, because there's something on top, uh, you, you can't, you can't make noise. You gotta then break it. And... Kind of like that. Now, what this is, is this is a highly adaptable, uh, the way I have this set up is you have to tune it yourself a little bit each time. But what this will do is, uh, it'll sound exactly like a trombone if you set it up right. Now, you're gonna want to look for blue note like that. Blue note like that, purple like that. Now I gotta find, you're looking for red now. Come on. Come on, give me the red. There it is, you want the red note. Now, when you hook all this up together, this is gonna blow your guys' mind of how cool this sounds. So you set it up like that. Someone was screwing around with my stuff! Thank you guys for watching. Sometimes you just look up at that uh, beautiful, beautiful red sun and you, you realize why uh, why we built these redstone creations. But anyway, guys, hey there, Ross, coming at you with Redstoner once again. And actually, for this one, we're going to be doing this all in regular mode because some people have been like, Ross, I'm having trouble finding awesome stone. So what we're making today is called the Deluxe Super Hippie Hoper is what I like to call it. Now, what this invention does is it helps you cross dangerous areas. Now, I know what you're thinking. How am I supposed to mine those beautiful, beautiful diamonds? I can't make a however many block jump that is. And you're just sitting there like, I love diamonds. I mean, I'd be, I'd be looking for awesome stone personally, but other people seem to love diamonds. So what you're gonna build is my patented hippie hopper. But this time I wanna show you guys how to build it because honestly, I haven't been doing that enough. So what you're gonna wanna start, you wanna get some good room. You're just gonna place a piston, get some slime block. I love how bouncy these things are. You just go boing and now I can't get back up. All right, and because of how slime blocks you're gonna need note blocks. Now, whatever song you decide to set these to is up to you. No one steal that song, I wrote it. Now, next up, you're gonna want your running platform. Now, what this does is it gives you a chance to get ready to go. You're gonna place down the redstone area here. Now you want the repeater facing into the piston. If it doesn't, you've pretty much been doing all this for nothing. And now also, also I like doing this. Don't tell anyone. You, you, can, you can do that. You gotta get it all set up because you wanna make sure all of this works. If any of this redstone doesn't work, you're gonna have a bad time. I love that Mimi. Oh, sorry, I, I, I shouldn't be. Mimi's aren't part of Redstoner. So once you have all this set up, what you're gonna need, and I call this the key, a redstone torch. All right, so now you just kinda back it, back it up, and then you place that, and there you go. It shoots you super high in the air. You just gotta be backing up and at and as you place it, you go flying. Now, without further ado, I think it's time that we go wreck some diamonds. So I'm gonna go back. Did I forget anything? I did not. Oh God, my fence! I have to say, I just added this feature, but I love it. Because now, you actually get like, I don't know, it just, it gives me the confidence. Because now, All right, that's awesome. I got two music. But anyway, if, no, 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 I gotta stop rambling. If you want music, you should check out my last Redstoner, which was the Redstone Trombono, because that one's all about music. I'm getting distracted, I just love music. All right, and now, and now, three, two, one. Here we go! Here, no, no, no! Come on! I didn't mind any of the diamonds. Shoot! Start. 
Come on. Yes, yes, I'm feeling this one. Come on, come on. No! Well, guys, if this video helped you get to the other side of that lava pit that you've been struggling with, uh, leave a comment below and be like, hey, I made it to the other side. But uh, anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next... No, no, not more fire! And welcome back to Redstoner. Now, I know you guys have probably been thinking, once again, Ross, you're doing things that are impossible. You're a magician. You're a wizard. I'll tell you, I'm not a wizard. I'm not yet a wizard. But today, I thought I'd be showing you something that I know everybody loves. And it's everyone's always like, Ross, you got to do this. You got to do that. Well, I'm doing, I'm doing this. I've made what I'd like to call a vanilla lucky block. Now, I know what you're thinking, Ross, that's impossible. I know you're thinking, you're thinking, Ross, a lot of things, and I keep, I keep just reading your mind. Again, I'm not a wizard. I know what you, you're probably, you're thinking, Ross, how did you know I was going to say that? You know, we're just, we're just going to drop that for now, because otherwise this whole thing would just be that exact thing, the thing, thing. Now, the way this works is you want a randomized item. Now, here is what I propose to you. You take this, I mean, I just, this is, this is literally just solid this that, that was just a bunch of gold blocks i mean it was it was nothing at all but i do this boop now now what do i want um we'll have cookies fish I'm trying to think so you fill this up you go like that this is that did not work out at all the way you know why am i not doing it like that there we go boop and then boop like this now we fill up the lucky block, and then you add a button. But you know, for good measure, just so people know, it's all lucky and all random. You gotta, you gotta add question mark. Cause now, what is this? Press the button, and you get a cookie. You press fish, 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 fish. Now I know this. This has so many different applications. But I mean, when don't you want? It's just, shoot, I wonder what happens. It's actually, and this is what makes it neat, the more question marks you add, the more random it becomes. What? That's not a fish. St uh oh, I think that was from the extra question marks. But anyway, guys, if you ever want new stuff to appear inside of your block, you just add different question marks. Like, see how there's one missing there? That'll randomize this completely. Oh, man. Do things. Hey, I got wood. But anyway, guys, if this tutorial helped you create something really awesome on your world, remember to leave a like below. And hey, maybe you want to see what I'm going to build next. You could always subscribe for future updates. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ah, gotta love it when redstone comes together. Two plus three equals five. Hey guys, Ross here, and welcome back to another redstoner. Woo! Now, I know what you're thinking, Ross, you've created everything under the red sun. <laughs> but no, there is still plenty to be made. I mean, we have covered a whole lot, but there is something I've noticed that people have really wanted. Now, you're probably thinking, Ross, there's no way on top of this dirt platform because it's so high up you're right and what do you use to raise yourself up i use compliments you're doing good ross but what other people use are elevators now there's an elevator that i fell in love with back in new york and well it was always fun riding it but then uh she broke down for like a month and then i started riding other elevators um it was for back when i actually i worked at a hospital i've told this story a bunch of times but uh, the main elevator I used broke and I just started having to ride other ones and then when I left the hospital that elevator was never repaired and some nights I just, I can't, I wonder if she's okay. But anyway, we're going to be jumping right into this elevator. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make the ground like this. This is going to create the upward momentum that you need. Now if I just do that, yeah that's easy, but what if now I want to get down? It's really hard to get down because it's so high up. But what you can also do is continue to add pistons in a staircase-shaped 
fashion. You're probably thinking this is gonna do nothing. But this is where you add it like this. Now, once you're up to the next level, you're gonna wanna go like this and you're on the next level. Then you're gonna wanna take your sandstone, you're going up again. Now we're adding another, let those turn off. Shut up server. The next layer and then torches, we can go high again and then we add another and we're all the way at the top. Now, this can be really helpful for getting from base to base because there's people. Wait, how do I get? This can help you out in a lot of situations. Um, it's really compact, as you can see. It doesn't require too, too many resources. And it can take you even higher than you could have dreamed you would have gone before. But anyway, guys, if this invention has helped you reach the next level of whatever it is you are trying to reach, hey, maybe you're climbing up and you're like, oh boy, where's the cookie jar? Let me uh, get a saw so good. I'm gonna grab the uh, cookie jar and then you go um, nom 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 so many cookies and then you fall off and then you realize wow I have fallen down but it's so easy to get back up anyway guys this was I'm gonna call this the up up and away because you're just going up up and away this uh, has helped you reach what you are trying to reach feel free to leave a comment below maybe a like and hey if you want to see another great invention next week, you can subscribe for future uploads. But until next time, guys, Redstoner Ross, signing off. Hey guys, Ross here, and welcome to another episode of the Redstoner. I'm not actually going to sing that. But anyway, I start this one off by saying, hey, how you doing? Because I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you've seen the title of this video. And you too want to build the Trollomatic. Now, I'm going to skip all the funny stuff, you know. Haha, <laughs> jokes, haha. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how to make one of the best trolling devices in Minecraft. Now, I did forget. I need a lever. Now, this is to help out. All it is, and you guys have probably seen this before, is you make this right here. You just put all that. And you put all this here. And now, all these turn off. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ross, what does this have to do with anything? Now here's where it gets fun. You add a little line right here. And you, know, you put that down. And then when I do this, I'm just going to flick this. That's already starting to make kind of a... Once it gets going, it makes kind of an annoying noise. Am I right? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this here door. And I'm going to flick this again. And you're probably thinking, Ross, stop it. Ross, please. Please stop, Ross. Ross, stop. So I was testing something. I, I've been working on this design a little bit. Now what you're next going to want to take is a waffle. I think it's actually... Yeah, they misnamed them. But these look like just, just white, uh, big old white waffles. The other ones look more like waffles. And you're probably thinking, Ross, you've already created a really annoying thing. What happens if I add another block and another block? And you know, this one gets a few waffles on it. And you know, maybe a door. Another door. No, you just, you go ahead and you add a few more waffles. And then, you know, you flick it on. Oh man, that... One second, I'm sorry about this. As you can see, sometimes you'll encounter a problem where two waffles want to, like, kiss each other. You don't, you don't want your waffles kissing, I'll be completely honest with you. But, I'm gonna do this because... Oh, oops, there we go. I can still do that, toss on another block, fill this one up, and do this. This thing right here has so many possibilities of just trollage. And now as you see, this is all, if you just stick with the waffle method, it stays pretty low to the ground. You could build, if you, if you do not include doors, you could build this under someone's base, and it'll only be one block high, or two because of the redstone. So you have plenty of room you put it here, here's their floor, and they're like, what is that, what is that, as they just hear the amazing sound of... Imagine you're just walking around and you just constantly hear, it's like, what, what is that? What's happening? And you'll know. You'll know. And you know what? I think it's time for bonus clip. 
Now, because I felt this one was kind of short, I'm going to show you one more really annoying tool you can use to mess with your friends. All you need is a repeater, redstone, and a bow. Now, if you're in regular, I'm in creative, so I have infinite arrows, but all you're going, so you might, you, you will need arrows as well. I'm going to put down two repeaters, set them both to four ticks, add some redstone, and do this. Now, you're probably thinking, Ross, that's just a simple clock. All you got to do is take an arrow, shoot, shoot. Those, those aren't going to despawn either. That's just going to keep going. And now, you, know, you just cover those up. This is underneath your friend's house. They'll never hear where it's coming from. They'll just be like, what is that? Why won't this stop? Help. Hail. You know, they hear that, but they also hear that at the same time. And that's... That's around the time they'll just leave the server. And now to stop this, if you ever want to, you just walk right over. You just walk. You just. You, you actually got to break it. I thought. I thought if I walked over, you'd just pick up the arrows. But anyway, guys, this was Redstoner. Hey, if this has helped you troll your friends, why don't you leave a like and say, "Hey, I trolled my friends with these." I hope you enjoyed the Doromatic, and I'm gonna call that. No, I'm not even gonna call that anything. You guys can name that. You know what? In the comments below, leave me a name for that little arrow machine. Uh, but if you want to see future Redstoners or other content I put out, you can always subscribe for future uploads. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Hey guys, Ross here, and welcome back to Redstoner. Oh crap, I didn't mean to fly there. Alright, but in this episode, I'm going to be shooting you guys. I'm not actually going to shoot you. I'm going to be shooting you guys with a bunch of tools. And that's why this one is going to be called the multi-tool. Z multi-tool. You know, Z and then, M, like, not Z-E, but just Z. I don't know why. But um, to start out, it's a pretty neat concept. This thing right here that goes... I'm trying to catch up to the red stone signal. It runs a little faster than me, as you can see. This thing here is going to be controlling so much stuff that you're not even going to believe that it's possible. Now, I'm going to start off by showing off one of my favorite things, and I call this the egg tubator. Now, what you do is you come up here. You got to you gotta come down here and then you throw in it. You got to time it right. All right, I changed my mind. You drop a bunch of eggs like that, and it shoots them up, and then they fall. And it egg tubates them. Now what that means is chickies won't hatch, but they're ready to hatch. I could just watch this for hours. Alright, next off on Z multi-tool, we have what I'd like to call the red field. No communism. Uh, it lets you... Oh darn, I don't know where to put this piston. I just come into here and then it works. It gives me a whole field of activated redstone. I mean, it's one of those, whenever I need something, it'll work now. What's that? I, what? Let's say I need a super cool door. I just go boop, boop. I put my door there. Now, I can head into my house. It's, it's so helpful. And the thing is, because it's so much, you can do multiple things at once. You can have a piston and a door. Hey, maybe I want to throw in a few trap doors. Iron trap doors, some iron waffles. See, I just put down a block, and I go, I don't know why this isn't uh, working. Work. There we go, there we go. See, and then you just re-add, and then it's like a scary trip. Oh, crap, I'm stuck. There we go. See, it, it's so helpful. Now, this one is pretty interesting, too. This is a redesign-ish of thingamamover. Now, what this one actually does is I'll put in a wet sponge, and then, boop, it goes here, here, here. Now, this one, because I got this thing working, it activates, and now you're probably thinking, Ross, where is it? What happens is it comes down here, Where'd it go? I didn't screw up. I did not screw up. It was working. This is, uh, well, what this was used for is it's supposed to be a storing area. You can put down, you know, you put your stuff in there, and then you just walk away. No need for lever flicking, no need for any of that. And whenever you want to turn it off, you just remove that sponge, put it back, 
and it cleans out some of the redstone to help you uh maybe that's why maybe i forgot to put some of the awesome stone back oh well anyway guys this has been a bunch i'm gonna go check on my chicky eggs where'd they go there's no chicky eggs in here i'm actually i'm really sad let me try this bunch I don't know what could have happened. I don't have the chicky eggs. Anyway, guys, if this video helped you create some awesome red field thingamamover 2.3 or a red wheel chicky incubator, whatever it is, remember, you're going to want to say, hey, I did it. And until next time, I guess we can redstone on out of here. <laughs> but I'll see you guys. Hey guys, Ross here, and welcome back to Redstoner. Now for this one, I thought we'd go over a few of the things we've made uh, while starting off to kind of get some ideas of what's been happening. Now as you can see, we... I never showed that off. That was, uh... This one was actually pretty neat. The idea is... You could never make it to the door. You step on this pressure plate, and it opens the door. And you gotta make a run for it. And it never opens. Uh, the design didn't make it that far, and that's why it never got its episode. Uh, here's the impenetrable door. This was, uh, the house shall be used, and all her stuff. I mean, still has her heart, Billy Sanchez's, some stuff, you know? Uh, what else do we have around here? We have the lucky block, you know, you press a button and you get something cool. No idea what that was. I was I was messing around with titles, I, I made it say you did it. I forgot what this thing is. We have my all-time favorite, the calculator. That's a graphical glitch. That's weird. Press the button. Outputs five, like always. Uh, this was an early piston staircase. Uh, this was me just messing around. Uh, the Annoyatron. I'm going to turn this on for one second. God, I love that noise. Up here, uh, it was the arrow machine. I broke it because it was annoying me. Uh, we have the red floor. Uh, I'm trying to remember all these off the top of my head. I'm going to be completely honest. The egg tubator. Ooh, thingamahopper. This one, uh, love this one because it's so difficult to get across, but once you make it, you know you're gonna get those sweet, sweet diamonds. The red sun, uh, someone asked, uh, there's nothing inside the red sun. It's just there to keep me motivated. Uh, this thing, that which shot is there, I don't, ooh, that could have been, I'm curious what would actually happen. So I press the button, it shoots the TNT, and, ah, not too much damage. We did lose that, I'm just gonna set that back there to... We got the piston elevator and stuff. You know, you make it all the way and you can get to the cookie jar. But, now what you're probably thinking is, Ross, what is this redstone invention? Well, this is what I like to call Minecraft within Minecraft. Now, as you see, I was just playing Minecraft, looking around my redstoner world, while actually being inside of my redstoner world. Now, this is something that's taken me a good 5 to 20 minutes of work. Now, I didn't spend any time stifling on this. Uh, I'll give you a sneak peek. Oh, there's the redstone. There it goes. Um, I'm kind of going to be holding this one a secret to myself, just because of how advanced this is. Um, but overall, this thing has taken me hours upon minutes of work to create. Uh, it's a great thing. It lets me play other minecraft worlds i i could show that off in a different video but right now i'd have to go back and rewire it to be able to do that right now it's only set up for redstoner because um that's how uh i thought it would be going anyway guys if you thought that was a pretty neat trick and uh you want to see more redstone tricks maybe in the future i actually will show i'll give you one one more little sneak peek of the redstone world set up Oop. oh Oh, did you see it? Uh, thank you so much for watching. This was Red Stoner with, uh, the red screen because it, uh, lets you experience things in a whole new way. If you like this video, you like Red Stoner, you can always leave a like. Leave me a comment telling me what you thought of this awesome invention. Hey, you want to see future Red Stoners or other content I put out? You could always subscribe. But until next time, I guess I'll see you guys. Hey guys, Ross here, and welcome back to another Redstoner. Now, something that's kind of sad to say and a little bit off topic, well, it, it moves into the topic of this video. The Redstoner world can be kind of lonely. I mean, I'm surrounded by my beautiful, beautiful inventions, and well, but the thing is, the only other people that were ever here kind of got scared off, and I couldn't even say hey to them because 
I just can't get through. Well, today I have made a super duper new invention. Now I know what you're thinking, Ross. Wow, another invention? But you see, this one is special in a sense because it creates best friends. <sighs> I'm so excited to press this button and let my loneliness sink away. It creates Miku. Hi. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a huge fan of uh, Hatsune Miku and all her music. And I'm, I'm real quickly just going to go ahead and grab. Now, see, I don't, I just, I don't want to be lonely, but I can, come on, out of the water, out of the water. All right, so I guess we're going to play, out of the water, get out of the water. All right, you know what, fine, we're going to do no water. Come on, there we go. So we got Miku with us, and then I can take her around. I'll probably do this off camera, and I'll take her around, show her all the super duper awesome inventions I made. Miku, you got to check this one out. I want to show her the calculator. Calculate ladder, I'm sorry, let's see. So Miku, two, all right, you still with me here? Plus three equals, equals, equals. All right, well, that was a little embarrassing. I, I figured out, I fixed the calculator. Everything should be all good. Does this, no, nope, that, that one does nothing. But what I actually, when I set this up, here, Miku, you can, uh, Miku, you can stay here. I don't want her wandering off and leaving me all by myself. I mean, it gets kind of lonely out here. The red sun never sets. I haven't seen the night in years. But there's this lever called the best friend forever mode. Now I did get rid of the water, so they're gonna take a little bit of fall damage, so. But I'm gonna activate the best friend forever mode and I'm gonna make a new best friend. What is Um No, no, no. Alright, well, I gotta get I gotta make sure No, come on. I don't wanna be lonely anymore. I can do this. That's a lot of Miku. That is a lot of Miku. I wonder if they'll sing. All right, come on, you. Come on. I just want to make sure they don't wander off. I want to make sure I'm never lonely again. Come on. Come on. That's enough of Miku. All right, turn off. Normally, the lever's just supposed to make the button. You know what? I may have said that's enough, but I'm happy. I guess you can say I'm... Oh, God, that hurt. I was swimming in Miku. They'll probably all go admire my inventions. You know what? Go roam around. Go look at all the marvelous things I've made. But anyway, guys, this is how you make some ultimate best friends. I thought you guys would all know, like to know that I'm doing a lot better. I'm not as lonely. I got Miku here with me. Oh, that one's blinking. How cute. And uh, anyway, guys, if this uh, redstone invention has helped you uh, make your world a little less empty, like my heart, uh, remember to leave a like and... I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, Ross. Ro Ross here, and welcome back to another Redstoner. I'm joined with that guy Barney, which right dirt. there. He's he's actually called that guy Barney, if you didn't know. Dirt. He's a fan of dirt, and I thought I'd, uh, I didn't want to show him around this world because, uh, no offense, I don't think you'd, uh, understand how a lot of this stuff works. No, wrong. I understand it everything. What's that up there in the sky? Cloud. No, that's, that's the red sun made of redstone. Oh, yeah, that's cloud above that. I guess technically that's a cloud, yes. But I have a few special inventions for you that I've made just for you. It took ah, me lots of- I can be the first one to try this out? Yeah, you'll be the first one. I have this one right here. It's called the Dirt Nap. Now, I'm oh, I learned. Gonna need... I do this every night. Do you actually sleep in dirt, man? Of course I sleep in dirt. I mean, I, I have a big old red blanket on that I wear, and it's kind of like a redstone blanket. I don't even use blanket. I just lay in dirt. Do you just cover yourself like a like um one of those sand mermaids on the beach? No, I just lay on top of it. Oh, oh okay. All right, well, if you want to just stand on that pressure plate and... Uh, this prepare... one? Yep, and watch this magic happen. Okay. You just gotta... Look. Oh! You just got dirt comes out! Get yeah. it back! Oh! Come on! You don't even need to sit. Yeah. Do this I have to stay here? That just makes it produce more. <laughs> Come on! Brings it in more dirt! Isn't it so How... magical? It just appears. How many more I can get it? You can get as many as you... Oh! Looks like you took a dirt nap. <laughs> you do, dirt? Do you get it? Oh! oh, that's because you stepped on it twice. Oh, I, I stepped on 
down in three times. Oh, so it'll probably happen again. Oh, wait. Rot. Yeah. I lost. I'm right here. Don't worry. I know oh, okay. it's... There's so many inventions. I I'm surprised you didn't get entranced by the calculator over there. This calculator? Hey, all the, the big one with the screen. Wait, how this one is work? It's really cool. All right, I have it set right now. It'll add two plus three. Watch this. Did oh, so this this calculators I know, but this one. Oh, this how one. This work? Oh, that's a staircase. It never it never got finished. It's the genius is net. Finish, not finish some of his project. Yeah, there's there's a lot of unfinished things around here. That's the thing of a movie. You just and it brings what, you stuff. What it, huh? You put stuff in here, and then it comes out there. But it's not dirt. No, I didn't put dirt in that one. I put stone. And that that one's really complicated on how it works. A lot of a lot of redstone, but this way, if yeah, only I understand. this way. Oh. All right, so. Wow, this long walk. You should get some, like, you know the airport has, like, escalator on the ground? Oh, I love those. Like, the moving wall. All right, so you're going to want to... Hey, Rod, makes me escalator on the ground with redstone here. I'll do that next time. Okay. I, I need some time to prep and think. All right, I call this one the warm bucket. So you're going to want... You're going to want to stand in there and flick the lever. Are you sure? Yeah, it's perfectly safe. Well, I'm fairly confident it's not safe. Well, you know how I'm always complaining about being cold? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, you know, I made a way to get all warm and stuff. Don't How's look it working? Oh, it'll work. Just don't look up. What's your, what? Just don't look up. It, it takes a few seconds. It's to, you looked up. Is that? You could probably is move out. Is that lavas? You could probably move out of the way if you wanted. Is lavas gonna It'll make you all toasty and warm. Ah! <laughs> you all you toasty? Dirt. Hey, put me out. You got waters? Put me out. I almost dead. Hi, hi, hi. I got you some water. That's a killer machine. No, it's a toaster. That's a killer's machine. Look, there's now water to make. Oh, there is a hole in the ground for some reason. That was weird. All right. Last but not least, I heard there was dirt on the other side of that. There's dirt here? Yeah, on the other side. Rod! Yeah. Rod, let me out. Now I'm never going to be lonely again. No, Rod, let me out. Miku left, and you're not leaving. We're gonna invent so much together. Rod, let me out. I'm scared in here. It's clusters phobic here. No, you'll be. Shh, shh. It's okay. You'll be fine. See? Rod! See? Shh. Okay. It's, it's no, okay. Nobody's right out. My reach is the dirt. Shh. You'll no. be fine in here. You'll be Rod, fine. It's tortures. Let me no, out. No, it's... it's not torture. We're gonna be friends forever. No, Rod, but the You're dirt is right out my fingertip. You're safe. You're safe. Just shh. I have like a third degree burn everywhere in my body, and now it's oh, Rod, it got dark. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Red Stoner. Uh, we got a new, we got a new friend, and we're, we're not gonna be, we're never gonna be lonely again. But hey, if this invention helped you make some new friends, uh, unlike the last one because M Miku kind of kind of left me, um, leave a like below. And hey, you can always check out Barney's channel. I, I don't know if you'll have time to upload as much now that he's uh. It's kind of stuck. But uh, until next time, guys, hope you have a good day. Hey guys, Ross here, and welcome back to another episode of Redstone. Today I'm joined with Jen. Looking it, yeah. Uh, hey, dude, I remember you did this with, with Barney a while ago. Where is he? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's fine. Just don't. We're just going to stick over to this side of the map, though, okay? Uh, okay. Are these right. your inventions you're showing off today? Uh, yeah, actually, I've been having a little bit of trouble, and I know you're super smart. Oh, sure. I kind of know Redstone, I guess. I've been working on this light switch, and when you flick it, nothing happens. Ross, it, it, there's a bunch of redstone delays here. It, 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 it just takes a second. Well, see, no, on. no, no. See, the light's on. Now it's off. Now it's on. Now it's off. I well, don't Ross, get that's it. Because, that's because you're flicking the signal on and off, and it's no, taking what? a while to get through all the redstone, so you, you make a trail that... No, but when you flick the lever, it should just turn on. So then I'm waiting, I'm waiting, it's not on, and then I get, I don't want to waste power. I, I may the... be the redstoner, but I, I like... Oh, it's on! Well, well, now the signal's gone, and now it's going to turn off again, because you're not supplying a signal to the light. Well, I don't want to I don't want to keep the light on, because that's wasting energy. All right, fine, uh... fine, 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 fine. How come my door doesn't work? Uh, I can hear all again? the I can hear all the mechanics working, but the door just doesn't. I mean, Russ, it's hooked up to a piston. It's not even hooked up to the door. It doesn't do anything no, except no, raise this platform. Let me let me wait. wait do you think, Russ? Wait, that's wait, raise me up. It, oh, okay, Be, beam me up, Jin. 
Yeah. Oh, there's a flower up here. Y you built this contraption. Don't you know what's here? Why would I not know what's up here? Do you want the flower? Uh, sure. Thanks, you know, you know Ross. what they say. Plant life is uh really good in uh protein. And uh, hey, if Wait, you ever, what? I'm just saying, if you ever got stuck somewhere, you could always eat that flower. Uh, okay. I don't like really eating flowers, but sure, I guess it's a survival tip. How would you fix 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 the door? Fi I, wa I want to see you fix the door. Whoa. I want to see what you've learned thus far. I guess you could just put it next to the door. Yeah. But that that's kind of an eyesore. Here, we'll put it right there. But. Well, how is that any less of an eyesore? It, it's a button. It, right, it's it's right. function over form, Ross. What about that button? No, but that's just hard to reach. But it works. You just gotta back. Uh, yeah, up. I guess. You gotta back. You gotta. Practical. You gotta back your booty up until you can see the button. Oh, I messed up. I made this one just for you because I knew you'd be helping me out a lot. I thought you might enjoy a little ride. Uh, okay. I'll give you a push. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Um, th this is Ross. This. Ross, this, this track just sends me right back to you. It, this is a mess. No, it's fun. It's fun. Here, I'll go. Well, I, I'll, fine. Uh, go. Uh, here, maybe, maybe just one more time. I, I, uh, uh. We can uh, both go. Yeah. This is supposed to be an invention. Ross, this is just a roller coaster. Well, no, that's what I was going for. Roller coaster. I've had comments saying I should make a roller coaster, and it has the loop de loop. As you can see, there's like a loop, loop, loop. -a -loop. Yeah, but you don't ever go then, on it. All right. Let me. No. 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 But Ross, now this just goes in an infinite loop. You'll be stuck in a circle. Right, what about, what about, what about now? I'm pretty sure this doesn't make it much better. Here, I'll no, show no, no, you. No, 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 this will make it a lot better. Watch this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. D now, Ross, now you're just going in a circle this entire time. No, it's an S. It's like a figure eight. Have you ever even roller, not roller, I was, I was going to say roller. Have you ever figure skated before and just like, da, da, da. This isn't an ice da, da, rink, da, Ross. This is a roller coaster, and roller coasters aren't supposed to stick you da, in the middle. Uh, 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 I'm singing. Okay. Yeah, okay, all right. okay. Fine, um, fine. Are you sure you're an inventor, Ross? Yes, I'm an amazing inventor. All right, all right, Jen. You've insulted my roller coaster. You've insulted my redstone. I'm not trying this to one, insult you, Ross. They're this one. Not I've made such amazing inventions. This whole world is filled. Do you see that in the sky over there? What is that? That's the red sun. It never sets. I haven't seen night in weeks. Ross, that's because it's a giant static ball in the sky. It doesn't move. N none of these inventions here are practical. Your calculator only gives you one number. That's not how numericals work. You only need five. All right, why doesn't my light work? Your light? Yeah. Uh, well, I think if you walk through here, then... Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey, let me out, Ross! You know, uh... Ross, I can't get out! Can you just get the door open? R Ross! Now? Ross! Now? It's okay, Jin. Jin, it's okay. You'll see all my amazing inventions from now on. And if I ever need help, I can always come get you. Ross, this isn't fair to any need to see any of your adventures. I just had to be living in it. Let me out of here. No, you got the flower to eat. Man, this is in the heat of the room. All right, well. All right, well, guys, thank you very much for watching. That was Red Stoner. Uh, we we had some pretty fun inventions with Jin today, and we've made another friend for life. I wish the sun would set, but uh, it doesn't. But uh, hey, I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, Ross here, and welcome back to another Redstoner. We got a uh, we got our third special guest since we've been uh, doing a nice special guest streak. Uh, what do you Ross, think, man? all these things are really cool that you've made. These are crazy. Yeah, they take a lot. Of, I, I want to show you that one. Do you see that screen over there? Yeah, that's my pride and joy. Is that the uh, is that your calculator thing that you keep talking about? Yeah, I love this thing. It's just, this right. is all really really cool, man. Give me a problem. Uh, two plus three. Bam. Genius! It works. Genius! Barney and Jin um, thought it was amazing too. That's awesome. Yeah, speaking of Jin and uh and oh, Barney too. Do you know when they're gonna get off of vacation? You told me they were on vacation a while ago. Oh, they're they're doing fine. We should um we should not head this way though. Okay. Uh actually that's Okay, um, why why not? There's something over there that no, there's nothing over there. there. Well, there's more inventions, but they're not as cool as some of these Okay, ones. yeah, I want to see the cool inventions. Show me the cool inventions, Ross. All right, so you see, I'm trying to think. Th this one was pretty neat. Have you ever uh, you ever wanted to clear a lot of space really fast? Always. Always. So you climb you climb up here. Yeah. Oh, you, 
just I want you to press this button. Want me to press the button? Yes. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. It's this beautiful. is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Dude, I live to create genius. <laughs> This is, you are a genius, man. This is incredible. Thanks. They call me the what do you call this? What do you call this design right here? Oh, that? that That's just a diamond naturally spawn design. Nice. Perfect. That's, cool. Diamonds naturally spawn like that. Oh, duh. <laughs> I should have yes. known that. Have you ever had that problem where you're mining and then there's just diamonds you can't reach? Always. Yeah. That's what this one was for. So if you do is you kind of get yourself like going and then you back up and then it brings... It's got a few kinks. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, it works most of the time though. That was just one flaw. All of this is really, really nice, Ross. Do you yeah. have anything that you want to show me personally, though, that you just, like, oh. created for me? You know, I'm happy you asked because I built this up here. Oh, that's... What the heck is this? What did that... Is that a sun? Yeah, that's the red sun. It never sets. I haven't slept oh. in months. You haven't slept in months? No. That can't it... be good for your mental health. No, the sun The sun never sets. That's, uh... <laughs> that... It doesn't... Hasn't driven you like crazy or anything, or...? <laughs> it's just me and my inventions. Oh. That's okay. Good. But but I made this one special for you. It's all the way. Awesome. Yeah. This is really, really high up. I'm kind of afraid of heights. You know that. Why would you do that? Well, no. Your name is Sky, so to the sky. Oh, it yeah, is funny. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, what is this? these ones, do not do not touch these ones. These are these are uh, the world controls. What, is, what does this one do? That, that, just do not touch that one. But you see, okay. it lets me clear the sun. You see, the sun never sets because the, bu the button broke. Oh. And I haven't been able to fix it. I've been really lonely as well because nothing spawns. That one's broken too. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, this, this one's pretty cool. I made this one just for you. I rigged it all up. You just really? Nice. Thanks, man. No problem. But the best part is it keeps giving you more. What? All you got to no do is... No way. It's right in there. It's just Boss? Right... Yeah. Where's uh? Where's Barney and Jen? They're, they're in Wee Wee. I built I built a redstone plane and they went to Huiwi. It was my it was my treat. Oh, okay, that's uh, that's cool. Yeah. Hey, wait, is that Thunder Muffin inside there? How could Muffin have gotten? There's only the butter. All right, now, uh, could you step on that real quick, Ross? Where's Barney and Jen? They're on vacation. Now, can you step vacation on that? Vacation where? Huiwi. You should step on that pressure plate. Well, knowing Jin, whenever he's in any kind of tropical place, he fills his Instagram with tons and tons and tons of pictures. What did you do to them, Ross? I didn't do anything! Now let me out! No. What did you do with them, Ross? Nothing! Ross? Here, you can have this. If you just let me out. I'm not letting you out, Ross. Did you... I... Did you hurt them? No, did you... See, I'm trying to look. Uh, is there a dirt box down there? Yes. And Barney might still be in it. How long has it been, Ross? It's a couple weeks. He kept saying, let me out. And I said, when he calmed down, I'd show him some more of my inventions and we'd have great times together. Ross, you've lost it, man. No, it's the sun. The sun never sets. Ross, I'm leaving you here. No, just take this. Maybe I can I'm get gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take it, but I'm I'm leaving you here. No, but you should step. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I can't get out of here, though. Goodbye, Ross. No, no, please. He's invented he for sets. your own undoing. No. Goodbye, you were Ross. supposed to walk in here. Goodbye, Ross. We were gonna be friends forever. I friends forever. Be